Welcome to the Norwegian Epic. I'm going to do a full walkthrough ship tour. We're here in Port Canaveral on a Caribbean cruise. Let's go ahead and get started. This is Jason. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to give you a quick preview. This right here is the Garden Cafe. Right outside the Garden Cafe is the Great Outdoors. Then Waves Pool and the main pool area. Epic Plunge. The Kids Aqua Park. Right after that is the Video Arcade Room. And then Spice H2O. So we're gonna start the tour off back at the main pool area. The main pool area is right here midship. The cool thing about the main pool area is that it consists of two pools and they are right next to each other. There's a little splash shower area in between the two pools that a lot of people like to walk through. They're not on right now, but they're gonna turn them on as soon as the cruise begins. Here in the main pool area, you're going to be able to enjoy a few different types of activities, entertainment and amenities. First of all, there are plenty of hot tubs in this area. It's extremely common that while you're listening to live music or a DJ on a sea day that a lot of people will go over to Waves Bar, grab a drink, either sit at the bar or come on over and hang out in one of the hot tubs or head on over to the pool deck and lie in the sun. It's very common that people will sit all around the pool deck and listen to the music and just relax. The DJs will set up right here at the gazebo, which is right in front of Waves Bar and the towel area. Right behind Waves Bar and the towel area is the Great Outdoor, which is an outside seating area and a buffet area, which is extremely convenient on a sea day. Imagine you got a bucket of beer, you're hanging out, you're listening to the music, and then you need a bite to eat. Well, all you have to do is head right on over here, which is right around the corner, not even 10 feet away. Grab yourself some lunch, sit down and relax. Now, if you want more of a variety, you can head on into the Garden Cafe, which is right behind the Great Outdoors. So you understood correctly, there's a buffet area out outside near the pool area and one inside. The one inside goes all the way around the back of the ship and then comes up on the other side. So there are plenty of options in this area. Folks, while you're watching the video, if you want to book the Norwegian Epic or any other Norwegian ship, make sure you give me a call. And there's an excellent reason why. We offer discounted rates. That's right, it is amazing is what happens is, is that we book thousands of cabins with Norwegian every single month. So they allow us to offer you their cabins at a discount. It is wonderful. All of our clients that call in to get the discount are so happy that they did because saving money is fun, isn't it? Of course it is. So that's why you're gonna wanna give us a call. Actually, on a Norwegian ship, we offer the best rate guaranteed. Keep in mind, to get the discounted rate, you must give us a call because these are unpublished rates that only our agents have access to. And because we offer the best rate guaranteed, if after you book with us, you find it less expensive somewhere else, we will match that rate. This is La Cucina. This is right here in the buffet area. The only thing is, is that you have to go to the back of the buffet area and then down the stairs. La Cucina is the Italian restaurant. And take a look at these views. They are awesome. They are beautiful and they are right out the back of the ship. Let's head on over more toward the back of the ship. Let's look at the water slides. There are a couple of water slides on board, which makes it a blast for kids. The epic plunge, you shoot you into a bowl and you go round and round and round. Or you can go on the other water slide where you go on the side of the ship and come out at the end in a pool of water. This right here is the Kids Aqua Park, which is perfect because it's a little bit of ways from the main pool area, so the kids can just jump around, splash, make all the noise they like. Here in the Kids Aqua Park, there is also a little mini goth section. You do not need to make a reservation. All you gotta do is grab a club and play. Over here is the Rock Climbing Wall. It's a blast to play on the Rock Climbing Wall, but it's also fun to watch other people reach the top. This right here is the video arcade. You do not need change to be able to play these games. All you need is your key card. Folks, folks, keep in mind that if the kids come in here with their key card and they are not being monitored by you, it can get really expensive. Over here is the ping pong area. They do have tournaments while you're on board, so those are a lot of fun. Let's take a look at Entourage. This is the teen area. It's for teens between 13 to 17. 
Now, the other kids of other ages are not allowed in. It goes by age. And parents, you're also not allowed in either. So don't try to come into the entourage, walk in to grab your kids. Let's head on into one of my favorite areas. This is Spice H2O. A lot of action and activities happen here. Throughout the day, remember that it is adults only. This area consists of three venues. There is a bar, a buffet area, and a pool area. Right across from the bar is the buffet area. So it's another extremely convenient area to hang out and relax in because you have a bar and a buffet area. And then in front of both of the areas is a pool area. There are plenty of seats if you would like to hang out and lie in the sun. And there are a couple of hot tubs back here. Now on that big screen, that can play events, concerts, movies under the stars, all kinds of different activities happen back here. Also, you're going to enjoy the glow party back here. This is the sports court. It is a full basketball court and a lot of activities happen here besides basketball. For example, they will offer soccer games, dodgeball, and other activities. This is the Haven area. The Haven area is exclusive to guests who book Haven suites. The exclusive area consists of a pool area, hot tubs, a steam room and a sauna in the locker rooms, a sun deck, and an exclusive restaurant. And there are also many other perks when booking a Haven. For example, you get priority when reserving restaurants and entertainment. You get a private cocktail party with the ship's officers. 24 hour suite room service. You can get specialty dining delivered to your suite. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner in the exclusive restaurant. 24 hour butler service and priority debarkation and embarkation, which is amazing the first day of the cruise. They're going to escort you right to your suite. This is the Haven restaurant, which consists of a bar in the outside seating area. So you can either sit inside the restaurant or you can sit out here. There is also an exclusive bar inside, which has plenty of comfortable seating chairs, couches, and love seats, which have perfect views of the outside pool area and the ocean. I enjoyed the restaurant because I love the views and the priority exclusive service that you get when you dine in here. Let's take a look at the spa and the gym. They're all right here together. When you first walk into the spa, you're gonna see the salon. Ladies, if you wanna get your hair or your nails done while you are on board, I recommend that you make an appointment. That way you know it's not gonna be full and you're gonna be able to come on in. This is the gym. It offers all different types of machines, free weight, and classes. You can get into a spin class, a yoga class, you can also do CrossFit classes. It is a really cool gym. I recommend that on the first day of the cruise, you come on in and see all the different types of classes and activities that are offered. Over here are the thermal suites. The thermal suites are going to require either a day or a weekly pass. Now you can enjoy a sauna or a steam room in the locker room but in the main area there is a hot tub and a thalasso therapy pool it's really nice to come in here on a sea day and just chill throughout the entire day i like to head on into the steam room or the sauna and then grab one of these heated chairs afterwards and relax and enjoy the views now remember that on sea days it's going to be a little bit more full but if there is a port that you've already been to and you're not going to go to that port a lot of times they will offer a discounted rate let's take a look at the splash academy this is the other kids activities area this is from ages 3 to 12. in the kids area they offer all different types of activities entertainment and fun there will be a schedule here's my advice on the first day of the cruise make sure that you come on in and sign your kids up let me give you a quick preview of deck seven this is the bliss ultra lounge then we're going to go through the shops then the ice bar then the martini bar the sushi bar after that is the whiskey bar, then the barber shop, and all the way in the back is Cagney's and Moderno Churrascaria. 
let's head on back to the front of the ship and check out one of the ship's hot spots. This is the Bliss Ultra Lounge. You can enjoy dancing, live music, and awesome DJs in this area. Here's what you're going to want to do. Download the Norwegian app because all the activities that take place right here, you're not going to want to miss. Is what I like about the Bliss Ultra Lounge is that there are plenty of comfortable and cozy spots to sit down and relax and enjoy each other's company. Through here are the shops. Check it out, folks. On certain days, they do offer amazing sales. So you just have to come on in and check it out. For example, I got a really inexpensive watch here, way cheaper than I could get anywhere else, and it was duty free. Take a look at the ice bar. It is an amazing spot. The temperature here is kept at 17 degrees. Fahrenheit and there are really cool ice sculptures all throughout the entire area. They even have fun places to sit with fur coatings. They're going to give you jackets so don't worry but the coolest thing about the ice bar is how they serve their shots. They are cups made of ice. Right behind that is Shakers Martini and Champagne Bar. Folks, if you're on a Norwegian cruise, hopefully you have a drink package. The Martini and Champagne Bar is a perfect place to come in and get a specialty martini. Over here is Wasabi. This is the sushi bar. All the sushi here is a la carte. I recommend sitting at the counter, getting some sushi, grab a sake and a nice Japanese beer. Right over here is teppanyaki. This is the Japanese steakhouse, folks. The chefs are gonna cook the food right in front of you. If you have a small party, you will be seated probably with another party or a couple of parties. Let's head on into Maltines. Here you can order a premium whiskey. Now is what I recommend is open up the menu and try different types of whiskey drinks. Let's take a look at the barber shop. On most Norwegian ships, the barber shops are in the spa. In this case, it's back here. This is Cagney's and over here, you're also going to find Moderno Chuascaria. Both of these are part of the specialty dining. Cagney's is the steakhouse and Moderno is the Chuhascaria. Now, folks, specialty dining requires an additional charge. But here's the thing. There are plenty of complimentary options on board. So this just gives you the option to eat something else if you want to. Now, on a lot of Norwegian cruises, you will have a dining package or a drink package included in your cruise fare. So here is what I would like you to do, folks. When you call us, make sure you ask us about it. Let's go down a deck. All the way at the front of the ship, right here on deck six, you're gonna find the theater. The theater is an amazing entertainment venue. You can enjoy musicals, magic shows, all kinds of entertainment throughout the entire cruise. Because what I like to do is stop right here at the bar, grab a drink, and head on over to my seat. Now, before you get into the theater, there are another couple of cool venues right here. This is the dinner show. Yes, that's right, folks. You can actually buy a ticket to come on in, enjoy dinner, and watch a show while you dine. This is a huge favorite among cruisers. Now, right across the way from the dinner show is Headliners Comedy Club. Now, throughout the entire cruise, they're going to bring in different comedians. So you're not going to watch the same comedian throughout the entire time you're on the ship. Sometimes they'll get on at different ports. So, for example, if you're going into St. Thomas, a comedian will get on that day and another one will get off. So there is a huge variety of comedy on board. This is O'Sheehan's. This is the Irish pub. And what I really like about this area is it is open late. You can order hamburgers, hot dogs, nachos, fish and chips. You can have breakfast, lunch, dinner. You can also enjoy many different activities here. For example, there is a full bowling alley. There are two lanes. Just make sure you come on over grab your shoes, get fitted, and then start bowling. It's a lot of fun when you're hanging out here at O'Sheehan's because you're gonna hear everyone bowling, having a great time. You can sit at the bar right here, grab a drink, or you can come on over to the other side, play some pool, play some darts, and other fun games. 
One of my favorite things about Oshi Hands is that it is open late. Folks, if you go up to the buffet and it's closed, don't worry. Just head on down to Oshi Hands. Over here is the casino. It's right past Oshi Hands. If you're gonna gamble, they offer almost everything. But if you're not a big gambler, I recommend just walking on through because it is an action-packed area. They offer roulette, craps, tournaments, check it out. And if you don't know how to gamble, don't worry. They offer classes to teach you. If you walk straight through the casino, you're gonna go into the Cavern Club. This is where you can enjoy the Beatles Hover Band. They offer many different shows throughout the cruise, but here's a word of advice. It fills up. Everybody wants to come in and watch this band. So make sure you get here at least a half an hour early. I like to get here 45 minutes early, grab myself a drink, a seat right up front, and wait for the band to play. This is Shanghai. This is the noodle bar. The cool thing about Shanghai is that not only do they serve delicious noodles, but it is complimentary, so it is included in your cruise fare. Folks, we haven't even arrived at the main restaurant yet. So yes, there are plenty of other dining options available. Take a look at this. All the way here at the back of the ship is the Manhattan Room. Before you get there, there's a really cool bar right here where you can stop and get a drink if you need to wait for somebody. All the way at the back is the Manhattan Room. This is part of the main dining. One thing that you will need to know about dining on a Norwegian ship is that it is always casual which I really like because I don't like dressing up too much on a cruise ship. I'm there to have a good time. I'm on vacation. I don't have any business meetings going on. I want to be casual throughout the entire cruise. Also is what I really like about Norwegian is the freestyle dining concept. You do not have a specific dining time. You can come in whenever it's open. Let's go down a deck. We're going to start from the front and work our way to the back. This is the art gallery. All these pieces of art are for sale. You can take it home with you. This right here is Pixels. This is where you will see the pictures that the photographers took of you while you were on board. Here's a word of advice. Everywhere the photographers are, take a picture with them. It's so fun to go look at the pictures afterward. This is the card room. Folks, if you want to play some bridge or some other card games, this is a perfect spot. A lot of cruisers like to play cards on sea days. Over here is the library. This is where the business guys like to get their work done. It has the fastest internet and it's a perfect spot to work for a couple of hours. Right after Pixels is Le Bistro. This is the specialty French restaurant. Folks, I mentioned packages before. Drinking packages and beverage packages. Here's what I would like you to do. When you call us, please ask us to explain these packages. You really need to know how they work and it's going to make your cruise way better. Over here is the atrium. Here you're going to find the shore excursions desk, next cruise, and guest services. If you have any questions, head on over to guest services. They will help you out with whatever you need. And if you want to book your next cruise, make sure you head on over to Cruise Next. They give amazing discounts if you book on board. And if you do book on board, make sure you give us a call right when you get home because we're going to give you that. Here in the atrium, you can enjoy live music, piano players. You can do karaoke, watch game shows. Over here in the corner is a Starbucks, so you can enjoy a specialty coffee or a treat. There is a bar in the atrium. I like to sit at the bar and wait for the shows to begin. Make sure you get here early because this area fills up as well. This is the taste. This is part of the main dining. Keep in mind that the taste and the Manhattan Room have the same exact menus. So where are you going to dine? Which main dining room? It just depends on which atmosphere you like best. I like to dine at the taste because then right afterwards I can head on into the atrium and grab a drink. Folks, thank you for joining me on the tour. This is Jason. Remember to get the best rate guaranteed. Give me a call. Have a wonderful day.